Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our free video report for Wednesday, August 31st, 2016. So the Bulls uh, were not able to uh, close the month green. Uh, so this is actually the, the worst month that the S&P have seen in over five months. Uh, it, it could be a tell and I'll go, I'll go through all that tonight and I have a lot to go over. So let's get started. Um, Really, the first black hole that Woody had uh, had spoke about was th this is going back to September 2014. Now, notice we had the drop, rally, drop, rally. Uh, I originally was looking at uh, as this move here as as this before this happened now it very well still could but i'm going to show you on another chart why it may be a little bit different and may actually be something like this uh before but it's uh I, again i'll go over that a little bit more but as you can see he's predicted pretty much every major uh big turn and they've been weeks in advance now we also i mean they, a lot of times it, it just seems like there's more excitement when the market are going down I don't know why but it is and uh, it, but he's also you know the expected lows are also posted so even though we you know I, I it, it seems like when we're making some kind of high and gonna get a, uh, a big drop that's when everybody pays attention uh, and and typically when they're dropping everybody wants out of the market but as you can see he's uh, you know it, we're, we're not just a bearish site we trade both ways and uh, you know he's he's basically predicted over 1400 S&P point, points since this uh, the first black hole uh, uh, crash there so at sentiment timing we believe that human beings in the markets are irrational and there's always going to be an irrational element at work and that is what creates market opportunities so what is going to happen is uh, I'm sorry, I just want to take this off. Okay, so basically, really what you want to be looking to do is that when the herd and everybody's in the euphoria mode, everybody's only looking up is when you want to be unloading your, you know, your long positions and starting to build a short position. Whenever we're at this euphoria, it's you're going to know it by the uh, a plethora of above 90 percent bullish readings uh from woody dorsey's uh sentiment uh data and when you get that you know that's the euphoria and then all of a sudden all the wave counters start having their wave fives going way up here uh pattern chasers are all have it up here and what happens is the trap door opens and we we have one of these moves and everybody that was buying up here is trapped and everybody once they they get into the panic end of it and we get this drop everybody capitulates and this is when you want to be buying so this is exactly what the institutions do they don't try to guess the you know exactly where the top is or where the bottom is they they start buying uh right right into say the capitulation end of it and they start selling it in the th in the thrill up to euphoria and and they take the big part of the moves and if you just follow anything uh from what what woody dorsey does he's been a pioneer uh with investor sentiment and he has one of the uh oldest investor sentiment databases uh in the world so he's knows how it works he knows what to look for and and it really you know that this is how you want to be doing it you just want to be trading these cycles and you'll know where they are based off of the sentiment readings so i'd mentioned that this was the first black hole that woody had uh had had, had predicted back in uh, uh september 2014 so i have these color coded so you can see so you can see the blue here this is this then we had a, a move down and then we had a, a quick move up so we have the green Here's the green. Here's the purple, where we made a higher high, and then we had the, uh, the the big huge drop that actually took out these lows. Well, we had this drop right here, and they did take out the lows, and then we had the big rally up. So this is why I'm saying I, I think you know originally I was anticipating that 
this was the next move like this. And it's still, like I said, it still can be. The market's going to do what it's going to do. But it kind of makes a little more sense here that we're, you know, we could be in something like this type of environment where we come down, you know, somewhere into the 2054, which would make sense. And, uh, you know, from there, but what they're, I, I, even from that, even if we get down to just a 2050 or 20, uh, you know, the 2100, it's still 180 points front down and it's a good move. And, and that's what the black hole, you know, it has really been looking for is a hundred plus move to the downside. And as I've been saying, and, and Woody's been saying, um, I've been marketing and, and talking about the black hole for a couple months now. He has been saying for a couple months that it's going to be after August 14th. That was pretty much the exact high right here was this 14th. Now we came back up and we tested it again. But if you notice, we had a 97% bullish on the 12th. And that was the signal uh, that strength that it, that was it was ending. And then we had a double top at 2194. So there's a lot of, uh, say, technical aspects that are looking for the trap door. And just notice how everybody is on the bullish side here. Everybody. So nobody's looking down. Wave counts are up and are looking up and everything is going to that end of it but the uh it ends up that they're you know it, it they get trapped on the on the long side because they're only looking up and they don't realize that everybody's already in the market and then from there you get the trap door where we see 180 200 300 point drop so uh when that comes we'll we'll find out pretty you know pretty soon uh but the black hole is going to actually give the low date so that once the the black you know the black hole environment is is when we start heading down or you know obviously like we start heading down but the thing is is that right now so far the 814 has just stopped it from going up so we're still anticipating the larger move to the downside and a black hole is going to be the date for the actual low so that's you know going to be pretty important because if we just following this right here wherever we drop we're going to come back up and and probably make some type of higher high now if it's this type of drop then you still want to know when the low is because look at the size of the move on the upside so yes the that we had the 814 as the uh as the time period that we were looking for uh weakness that we haven't made a higher high from there and we've gone sideways and and everything like i've said we've gotten a lot of emails that they the black hole was wrong it, you guys never knew that it was coming in on the, the 814 it's always been that way so um that's pretty much it on the on the uh the sentiment end of things uh if i just take a quick look at our uh at our main charts you can see that the uh, S and P failed to make a higher high. Notice these pink boxes. This is a pretty good fractal pattern. This is where the S and P dropped uh, three, almost 250 points. And uh, look at the candle. It was a you know open made a higher high, and ended the month exactly where it started and then from there everything cascaded down so this fits a profile on that if we just take a look at a 60 minute chart we know we have enough waves as far as this where we have our one two three four five so that's looking for a move to come someplace down between the 2092 all the way down to the 2034 so 2034 you're talking about you know, a hundred and seventy point move to the downside. It's it's a that's a good trade. And remember, this was the you know this this was the fourteenth right here. So it you know if we you knew to start you know shorting the euphoria here, now you're you're set pretty good. You know where your stop is, and and if we start taking out some of these lows, we're going to get that capitulation move, and you're going to have a really nice trade. So um, that's pretty much all I have for uh, tonight. Um, we do, uh, the special offer will be in the email, um, and as a bonus, uh, you will be getting a free membership to Markets Path. I do video reports similar to this, but more on the technical aspect, and you get my morning notes. Um, and we also have a trade room that's uh, that you can join. So with that, uh, until next week, good luck with your trades, and have a great night.